Joining us for some analysis, the Australian's political editor, Simon Benson. Simon, as you wrote in the paper today, the coalition's hit that, that psychological threshold of, uh, of having a four in front of its primary vote. That's important. Yeah, it is. Good morning, uh, Kieran. Thanks for having me on. Look, it is, it is the magic number. Uh, it, it, and it's significant for a couple of reasons. Uh, one being that it, it puts the coalition... Uh, near striking distance or within the striking distance of where they need to be to be very competitive at the next election. The other point I'd make about it is that, in fact, it's the first time since June 2021 that the Coalition have had a four in front of their primary number. So if, as a measure of Peter Dutton's success in rebuilding the Coalition base and, and slowly but surely getting that number higher, you'd have to say he's succeeded. And I think that's, that's a significant thing. The other, th the other point I'd make, though, just, uh, you know, the caveat on all this is that Labor's primary vote's gone up two points to 33 as well, which is slightly above its election results. So it, you can see the problem here for the coalition that Labor have won an election with a primary vote of that uh, size before. So there's still a lot more work for them to do. Yes, that's right. The trend, though, is is encouraging for the coalition. The caveat you, you point out is, is well made, and I think it, it's an important one to, to mention, but still that trend is encouraging, and certainly for those who might have doubted Peter Dutton, you look at that preferred Prime Minister mm. ranking and looking at the graph in, the, in your newspaper and it's just nudging, nudging, nudging up towards the Prime Minister's rating. Mm. Well, look, all the indicators are pointing in the coalition's favour. There's no doubt about that, and that's been happening over time. And I think one of the remarkable things about News Poll, which I think's um, worth noting, is that you, even for the past 18 months, you haven't seen any of those wild fluctuations in polls that you often see from time to time. They go up, they go down. News Poll has been very steady, and what it's shown is a sure uh, and slow, but a sure erosion a continuing erosion of Labor's vote of support for Labor. Now, that will be concerning for them because if that continues apace in the trajectory it's going, trajectory it's going, then uh, the election's up for grabs, you'd have to say. Uh, on those uh, numbers you mentioned, Peter Dutton's numbers, they're the best approval numbers he's had so far since being leader. They're Anthony Albanese's worst, no surprise there, considering the last month. Um, but it's that, that number that you mentioned, the preferred Prime Minister, the gap now between the two leaders is only four points. And if you, if you assume that there's a, a, a premium already built in for the incumbent on those numbers, then the question about whether Peter Dutton yeah. is electable has definitely been answered. You know, we've both uh, seen the, the cycles come and go where people have been written off saying they're unelectable and then they go on to win elections. And, and, and this could be well a scenario where the, the times suit Peter Dutton and particularly in the context of the economy and what we've just seen out, out of the United yeah. States, Simon. Oh, look, indeed, Kieran. Uh, the one point I'd make is that I wouldn't read um, too much of the US election into these numbers uh, if for no other reason than that half of our survey period was conducted before we even had a result out of the US. So I wouldn't be reading any, any, uh, anything out of the US election into these numbers. However, the, the lesson out of that election is that the conditions are such that inflation is killing governments. And we've seen mm. that... Uh, you know, multiple exactly. times already, and this is Anthony Albany's big problem. 100%. The incumbents are uh, not finding it easy at the moment. Simon Benson, thanks as always. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Karen.